Here's everything you need to know about how to start a podcast for beginners for free. Hello, I'm Neil and I'm a beginner too. I launched the Great British YouTubers podcast and that's a video podcast right here on YouTube. But now I've hit the stage where I want to turn that into an audio podcast. And I'm going to do that from scratch in real time right here. It's a tutorial where I make all the mistakes along the way so you can just follow my journey. It's going to be quite a long video, I think. I'm going to put time codes in the description so you can jump forward. To create my podcast, I'm going to use this site here, anchor.fm. They are a podcast host. So it's a bit like YouTube in that it puts all the things you need in one place. It is possible to create a podcast without using a podcast host. I did it, but I really don't recommend it. It is really difficult. So that's why I'm using Anchor for this. At the end of this video, you and me will have a podcast out of this, trust me. The first thing you need to do is up at the top of the screen here, you can see sign up and log in. Now obviously we're going to sign up so if I click on this Anchor FM only wants three things. They want a full name, an email address and for you to create a password. This is the first obstacle. I would not recommend using your personal email address. The way that podcasts seem to work is that you need to have a very public email address attached to your podcast series and I don't think that I'm quite ready to have a personal email address put out on the internet attached to this podcast and I don't think you do too. The only way to stay safe, I think, is to create an email address that does not have all of your personal information on. So I'm gonna do that now. If you go to google.com and click on sign in, there's an option at the bottom, which is create account. And it gives you two options and nobody knows which one to go for, for myself or to manage my business. I just want it for a podcast. So, you know, it's not really a business, but I'm gonna go for to manage my business. And there's some details to fill in your first name. And I would suggest you would want to put something that looks good publicly. So let's call it my super awesome podcast and then create a password and then hit next. Now we can go back to Anchor and put those details in. And then you put in your new email address and then think up a password, prove you're not a robot, and then hit sign up. This is exciting. There's a warning, before you can publish any episodes, you'll need to verify your email address with Anchor. So that's a good job, I set that up. And when you click on the verification code in the email, you get email verified, and then you have to log in again. <laughs> and now we are into the dashboard, the main dashboard, and they lay it out really nicely. This is what it looks like in 2020 and 2021. So let's follow the nice trail that they've laid out for us. Make your first episode. If you click on let's do it, it, it opens up the making a podcast episode dashboard and you have four really big buttons to press. The first is record. So you, we could record a podcast right now within the Anchor website. You can add voice messages from listeners and there's a library where you can reuse your previously uploaded audio. I'm not sure we're going to need any of that for now because I've already made the audio file. I just need to get it up as a podcast series. So the next option is set up your podcast. Choose a name and cover up for your podcast. And it says that you can change this later. So anchor.fm says before we can distribute your podcast to additional listening platforms, you need to fill in a few things. Now, I don't know whether to put it as capitals or not. What do you think? Leave a comment below. So I'm going to call it Great British YouTubers Podcast. Podcast description. Now I've got one of these written already and I'll just pull that over from my YouTube podcast series. I'm Neil Mossy, a development producer with a mission to learn from vloggers, creators and YouTubers from around the world. Then Anchor FM asks you to choose a podcast category. I'll scroll down these ones so you can see what's on offer. But I think I'm going to go for education and how to because we're getting lots of advice from the guests. And the language under English, they have all these different variations of English like Canada, Ireland, Australia and United Kingdom. But I just think it's safer to just call it English continue. We have three options from Anchor FM. Search for a photo, upload an image and choose one for me. If you go to search for a photo, Anchor offer these generic pictures. I'm not going to choose one of those for now. Upload an image. This is where you can upload some cover arts that you've already made. And then the third option is choose one for me. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't make a picture like this. <laughs> They're great. They look like my laptop screen is scratched. I'll just put 
leave that in for now. Oh, so it was a background, which means you can choose a font. I like a big fat font. So I'm going for Source Sans Pro Black and you can change the color of the text. That looks good. You can align it left, center or right. I'm going to make some cover arts of my own. I just haven't done it yet. So I'm going to go with this for now. So that has updated my podcast settings page. So we've got About Your Podcast. There's a title that you can change at any time. A podcast description where you have 600 characters and some podcast cover art. Is your content clean or explicit? Mine is soapy clean, family fun. There's a custom URL which has 25 characters. I'm going to call mine GBYT podcast, Great British YouTubers podcast. Profile colour, you can choose a colour for your profile. And here are all the social connections. So I'm going to put my YouTube channel, Neil Mossy. So let's go back up and hit save. That's looking quite nice, isn't it? And there's an option here to view public sites. If I click on that, this is how the Great British YouTubers podcast looks. And look down here, there's a link to the YouTube channel. So if I click on that, oh, that's not so good. <laughs> So it doesn't seem to connect to personalized URLs. So I've had to use my special channel code, which is a surprise, but that's okay. It works. That's the main thing. The next thing we need to do is to add an episode to the series, upload the very first episode. There is one very big button at the top of the screen, new episode, and the button opens up this dashboard. We saw earlier there are four options there, and on the right hand side, th this is a column where your episode is assembled, and it says here click to upload or drag files here, and all we need to do is to drag this audio file into the column on the right hand side there in the dashboard. So now it's uploading this audio file into this create your episode. While that's uploading, you can create a whole podcast show just from within this browser. You've got all these options here like record, upload, like music beds, and you just drag them into this column on the right hand side. I prefer to make my episodes myself and I just needed a podcast host to just have somewhere to put those audio files. There you can see the episode is 100% uploaded. There's a nice <laughs> musical notation icon waiting for me and three dots, let's click the three dots. So you can, oh wow, you can edit the audio and I can download the audio file or I can remove this audio file from my episode. Let's click on edit audio, see what that does. Wow, look, it's turned my audio file into something completely editable. Other things, Gordon Lang, that other YouTubers do. My audio files are good to go as episodes, but if I needed to make any changes and to cut anything out, I can do that with the audio editor. So I have my audio file in the episode build Builder. That's all I need for the episode. So I click on the save episode button. What do you want to call this episode? I've got this. I hit paste. I've got a description already written as well. I'm pasting it over and it's removed all of the carriage returns. So I've got to put those back in. If you are any good at HTML, you could, which is the code people use for writing websites, you can switch to HTML up here. And this shows you all of the code for the layout. Interestingly, it has kept all of the code from my pasting over from YouTube. This is exactly how I want the episode description to look and I have two options now. I can either save this episode as a draft and if I hit publish now I can actually set a time. I can schedule a time for this podcast episode to be released. I can upload new episode art. I can add a season number and an episode number. I can also tell Anchor FM if this episode is a full episode or a trailer or a bonus episode and also you can click on the explicit language warning Morning. So season number one, episode number one. And for episode arts, I'm not going to use the series arts. I do have a thumbnail for this. It's not great, but it's, it's something to put on for now. Shall I do it? Shall I hit publish? Boom. And it's brought up this extra window. Finish setting up your podcast. Before we can distribute your podcast to additional listening platforms, you need to fill in a few things. Hit continue. Ready to distribute your podcast. So I'm going to 
hit cross for no update cover art i'm going to upload an image there's the image and i can crop this now so that's great i can also zoom in to fill it continue and you're offered the option to add text to this i don't need to apply text we'll turn that off there we go so now i can hit save and i'll go back to the dashboard i hit the edit button and it says finish setting up your podcast so i'm going to hit continue and ready to distribute your podcast yes distribute my podcast if i go into settings and click on distribution this is the rss feed which every podcast has this is the precious link <laughs> which tells the internet that this is your podcast series and at the moment it says available on listening platforms anchor and spotify anchor will distribute it everywhere so apple podcasts google podcasts and all the other places where podcasts appear maybe i could cut to myself in the future to show that my podcast has been distributed automatically to everywhere did this help? Have you managed to get your podcast onto Anchor like a beginner like me? Say hi in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you've reached this point of the video. And if you're feeling awesome, the subscribe button would be much appreciated. I'm going to be doing lots more of this. So thanks for coming on my journey. And here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. <laughs>